Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Democracy Free uh, South Africa. Afri Democracy Free Africa South Africa. Yes. Where the Conservatives still somehow love me. I thought I'd done things that would... Um... Minority sexualities. <laughs> I don't like the idea of positive action. I like the idea of equal rights. But I thought I like doing the idea of doing this to some liberals and um, that would like me a bit more. Right, we've got no political power actually, so let's just uh, start a new... Uh, foreign visit scheduled. It is time to set the schedule. Uh, for the year's diplomatic affair visits, uh, head of the, as head of state, you may choose to arrange tours with existing allies or countries uh, with which we would like to establish new friendships. These nations tend to lie in different power blocks, and your choices will be noticed. Historic allies. Strengthen historic ties we have with existing allies. Although foreign relations are good between our countries now, this Ally was initially our occupier, occupying foreign nation. Am I going to be nice to the English? Hmm. <laughs> the Patriots would see this. Uh, ties broken with this part of our country's history, uh, but the Ally will welcome is a welcome source of foreign aid. Uh, build a new nation. It is time to leave our past in the past and forge new relationships. Lucrative trade partners by her no. no. As far as I can see, I'm reading this. Um, emerging by arranging a visit with an emerging economic power. Arrange a visit with the British or the Chinese. Foreign unemployment is still going down. Crime is in the green, but it is stable. Do I not get to see what you was doing? All right. Oil price spikes. It's a free market. I'm not going to do fuel. We currently have a, a minor deficit. I thought we'd been running um, reasonably well. <laughs> They're not very effective, my cabinet. That, that's why I can't store much. Okay. So we're running a deficit. That's unfortunate. Is that because expenditure grew faster than... We had one term where our income didn't grow. So that's why. Right, where's our GDP? Productivity is negatively affecting our GDP. Immigration is negatively affecting our GDP. Gender equality is negatively affecting our... Right, skill shortage. I thought I invested crap tons to try and reduce... Oh, okay, it is trying to reduce this. I can't justify spending an extra 14. How much does that in itself affect the GDP. That's a lot. But university grants is only a small thing towards it. Alright, double it. It does actually like double the effects. Cost-wise, it's almost three times as much and does basically triple the effect. I think this is linearly scaling. Okay, I'm going to run a bit more of a deficit. I thought education was going to help with a skill shortage. Right, GDP, what else is really bad on it? Generally speaking, it's just productivity. 
the informal sector is being reduced. Gives poor earnings, hurts the GDP. Crime and corruption are both on the way down. Corruption by a lot. Oil spikes unfortunately did hurt. Right, okay, gender inequality, which I've maxed out apparently. Um Okay, education is still ticking. I don't get how that hasn't helped more. So I do need to address gender inequality. Can I just outright make it illegal, please? See, my brilliant education, they're hurting each other. Gender inequality hurts education. Education is hurting gender inequality. Okay, hurting is a good thing. Yeah. To hurt inequality, that is. Laws. I like how I haven't actually gone to an anti... Um, Your costs are all. Democracy, women and liberals love it. Conservatives hate it. And it's going to kill gender inequality. I've got to work that GDP and that's one of the huge things. Uncompetitive economy. Productivity. Unemployment still hurting that. How is an unemployment like ticked all the way down? I thought I'd done more to kill unemployment. I have. And it's still ticking down. Okay, so actually, that might be one of the major concerns in it. In, pro in productivity. But that's still a tiny thing. Health is stopping it. Asthma epidemic. Still untouched. Does health have no effect on the asthma epidemic? Environment. Has ticked up a little bit. Recycling is uh, kicking in. There's something for the environment I wanted to do. Let's see if I can find it. For conservation. That costs a lot. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Right, crime's further down, unemployment is further down, GDP unfortunately is down. It's doing well, okay, it's having a positive effect. The deficit has grown, but now 14% of the people like us. They're still trustworthy. And the performance is now disappointing. Followers of the rest... Followers of the world. I don't know what you are. Alright, third one down. Revolutionary army. Okay. State employees are liking me. Environmentalists are liking me. The elderly is such a small part of my population. <laughs> So are youths. And everybody, generally speaking, has started liking me more. HIV AIDS, how are you still a thing? Because these things take ages to tick in. So I made like big strides uh, with this. Basically with that. Yeah, that's what made the biggest um, dip down. Everything else is still taking so long to tick in. Uh, why does everyone else hate me? Because of a reshuffle. Corruption, crime. It is basically just right, human development. Has gone up since I've been here. 
I'm guessing he's mainly due to the education and health. Wages. Not brilliant, but reasonably high. Right. I need to get rid of HIV AIDS before we have an election. Obesity. State health services is still ticking in. But that to me looks like it's got crap tons to tick in. Like, yeah, current is only at 0 0.88. It's going to get all the way to minus 16. Why is it? Oh, because it takes 12 turns for that to kick in and 32 turns for it to have any effect on age. Yeah, is how many turns, so I think that's quarterly. Is it quarterly or monthly, your turn? I have no idea. If it's monthly, then it takes a year to kick in. I think it'll be more than that. If it's quarterly, it's like four years. I have lost political power. Skills gap. University grants are kicking in, and at the rate they're kicking in, we might actually get rid of that. That'll be good. Pollution. I just have to improve the environment. <laughs> Uh, I've just spent a crap ton on natural conservation. That might actually do it. I have all this political power and I don't want to spend any money. Right, on transport. Fuel efficiency standards. Car emission limits. Well, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, that is all the time we have for this episode. As always, I would like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.